Hey everyone, we are back and it's actually January 11th. We are 11 days into the new year. Thankfully, we can remember that right now. <laughs> and, you know, I kind of wanted, Sanjeev, you have some new medical information that you want to share that's important. But before we dive into that, I just wanted to talk about the fact that Chris Hemsworth is um, doing his own show, Limitless. I have not watched it yet. I understand you haven't seen it yet, I haven't yet, seen right? it, but my kids told me to watch it. And they said what we're doing is even more important in light of what Chris Hemsworth uh, disclosed that he's... Uh, Basically, he's, got a high risk of Alzheimer's because of uh, he's got two copies of the A four O. We uh, talked Apo, about that. Apo E four yeah. gene, which I I know we talked about that. We before. did. So so that is likely the highest um, indicator that you will likely be dealing with Alzheimer's. Correct. Again, yeah, it's a risk factor. It doesn't mean it's a death sentence. It doesn't okay. mean he's actually going to have it, but. Uh, from the data, it looks like people who have two copies of the ApoE4 allele mm -hmm. end up with about a 10 times risk of developing Alzheimer's compared to the average Got it. person. And again, it. risk is risk. It doesn't mean it's going to happen. And I think I love the fact that you are that you come from the idea and mindset that you should know mm -hmm. and plan, prepare. And this entire process is about prevention, education. Mm -hmm. And doing what you, we can to slow it down and to take the best care of our health. What I think is exciting and, and interesting as you started this journey yourself is, you know, it always takes a celebrity to experience something and then everybody wanting to take more interest in it. Sure. When in fact, do you know the percentage at all of the number of, of elderly or people that end up having Alzheimer's? Uh, I don't have, I don't know that off. Off the heart, my heart, but but for uh, patients that you treat, it, may, it happens. It's extremely high. It's it's, it's yeah. Very high number. Uh, there's a lot of people that deal people with it. People who so. die from dementia is one of the leading killers of people uh, in, the mm. elderly, in the elderly. Um, we're probably talking at least in twenties or thirty percent. Okay. Well, you've got some exciting news for this. Well, I just want to, I right? want to, yeah, I want everyone. What's to happening just, right uh, now? In the Alzheimer's front, there's some some big news that come out that. The FDA approved a, a second drug. They did approve a drug back in 2021. This is, sec this is the second drug that's been approved uh, by the FDA by an accelerated pathway. It means that they felt there was such an Alzheimer's such an important issue that they had to speed the approval of this drug. Uh, and um, this drug works. It's called uh, Lenasinab. Or is it Liquimi? I think it was. It mean, comes by Liquimbi is is the is the uh, brand name. Okay. But Lenasinab is the um, is the uh, generic name. Okay. But um, basically, the, what they found was that uh, in in the trial of uh, in, they did about fifteen hundred people over eighteen months, twenty seven percent of those people had uh, their cognitive decline slowed down so it means that they had the progression of the alzheimer's was slower and and about 27 percent of those patients who took this drug for at least a year and a half so it's not like it's not like a cure it's it's um you know in some patients it's it's given them a little bit longer time uh which is which is great it's not a but you know they thought well, it was when you think of the deterioration of your mind i mean it's not your body mm -hmm. but to friends and family who want to spend as much time as possible every, with their every loved one every day, every hour, exactly. every minute, every day. So I think that's great. Yeah. So I think that that's an important piece. Um, it, the, the, um, the, uh, the issue is that um, it's costly, costly $25,000 yeah. a year, uh, which is not, not everybody can afford that. Right. Uh, there were some safety concerns. Some people are saying um, because the people who are on the drug had uh, increased incidence of brain swelling and hemorrhage there was a couple of deaths associated with this as well mm -hmm. so some people are are thinking that the the risks outweigh the benefits sure. other people believe that the benefits outweigh the risks again this is something we discussed with uh, physician and it's again only available in the u.s at this time um, that's such a tough decision very personal decision and a tough decision because you want your family member to live longer to have their cognitive abilities as long as possible mm -hmm. and they're already elderly so to a degree i think there some families are willing to take that risk as you said because it's like well we'd rather take the chance they've lived already up to this point because usually it happens to 
those who are um, over, like over in retirement or above, correct? For the most part. Yeah, I, I mean everything. Everything we don't want to do any harm for the right. you know, every physicians. That's their first oath they take is first do no harm. So we don't want to be giving a drug that's going to be causing harm to patients. Right. So this is a very important discussion that you know everybody needs to make, think about that, and we want obviously a drug that has the sure. least side effects and the most benefit. Um, I didn't talk about the mechanism. So this this medication yeah, how does by it works happen? by decreasing beta amyloid. So I don't know if you remember I was talking that uh, to you about that. The cause of Alzheimer's appears to be an accumulation of beta amyloid and, and tau tangles in the cell. Okay. So like the because these things are increasing in the cell, the cell starts to die or not. And where does the beta where does that beta thing come from? In the brain? Is it yes. in the brain? Okay. It's like a it's like a byproduct of our cell function. Okay. And because the cell is unable to clear it, it starts building up. So it's almost like what you're saying in like in arteries that they start clogging, clogging. it's the it's similar the thing in the brain. In these okay. cells. Yeah, in the cells. Let's talk about the cells. Okay. This is, this, so what's happening, the people who have the ApoE4 allele, they're unable to clear out the amyloid as fast as other people who have the 3 or the 2 allele. Right. So yeah, I think and this is a hard concept. We're going to keep on repeating <laughs> yeah. it because it's difficult. Uh, 10 years from now, I'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, so this is this these these two medications, the one that came out last year called uh, Aduhelm and this and this medication called Equimbi are both working on reducing the amyloid level in the in these uh, brain cells. Right. And so this is a completely new type of treatment for Alzheimer's. Um, like the other medication that came out last year, they're both not super effective, but they are offering hope to patients who have Alzheimer's. And I'm hoping we're well, going to have a lot more better treatments. 27% of those patients that did it experienced that slowdown, so they got a longer time with their, with their brain and, and, and with their friends and family. Now, Sanjeev, with respect to cost, when a drug comes out and it's $25,000 U.S. and it's in the U.S., um, and maybe you don't know the answer to this, but just as a curiosity, is this the kind of thing where, how does it become available to people who who don't have the funds? I don't think this is an answer. Yeah. I can't hear <laughs> on this question, but it's it's in the U.S., so yeah. I mean, if, if, you know, insurance is very complicated there. Right. Uh, we'll see when it comes to Canada how that works and what's going to be covered and for who it would be covered for. Okay. Well, more, more to come, more discoveries and... Uh, more on Alzheimer's uh, as we move along. Okay, thank you everyone. Thanks.